Hey friends, so I just wanted to let you know, left the farm a few minutes ago, and I'm on the way now to the southern hills of Hebron. We're going to a place called Ma'on, and our first shepherdess, Nechama, who we just absolutely love. She got married more than a year ago, and she started her own farm with our help. Our fellowship actually helped sponsor their tractor and their first tent. And so Nechama just had a baby girl, and we're going over there to visit. And I want to show you what they've built, because what started off with a tent has now turned into one of the most historic locations in Hebron. And it was one of the first farms that was originally established almost 20 some odd years ago by two partners. One of the partners was murdered as he was out with his sheep, and the farm shut down. And then for 20 years, people dreamed about going back up to that spot to reestablish the original Ma'on farm. And somehow we have stumbled upon the most incredible, courageous, dedicated Jews in Israel. And Israel and Nechama are, they might as well be my children. I just love them so much. They have finally reestablished the original Ma'on farm in the mountains of Ma'on in the southern hills of Hebron. And so I'm in the car now, we're on our way, and I just can't wait to show you. All right, I just turned off the road. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and now I am driving. Let me just show you where we are here. Up there is the issue of Ma'on, and we are now, I, can you even call this a dirt road? I don't know if we can even call this a dirt road. This is just sort of off-road. And we're now going down into the valley out into the caves of the southern hills of Hebron. It's just hard for me to believe that these heroic young people are out mamish in the wilderness here. So we're almost on our way. I'll keep you updated. Okay, so I've just been driving on this dirt road now for quite a while. I just, I, you have to see where they're living. It's just... I mean, at this point, the Aragot farm is Beverly Hills 90210. Right there, there's our tractor. Look at this. There's the tent. Here we've made it out into the middle of nowhere, settling the land of Israel. Talk about modern day pioneers. Right there is the water tanker, because there's no water line here yet. Up there is the tent. Up there, you can see right there, are the goats and the sheeps. And right there is our first legendary tractor that's made all of this possible. So here we are. All right, so I'm on my way out now. They're very, very private people. Very like Sanua, humble, sweet. They're not shy, they're just inward. They're just like so special. I just love them. And they built their own little house here out of this tent. I want to show you these pictures here. There's the tractor that we had. They're now using the tractor to uh, plant wheat all through this valley so their sheep will have food after the winter. It's just remarkable the lifestyle that they're creating of simplicity, of a connection to the land, a connection to the Torah. Um, just a life connected to God where the world is so obsessed with chasing after the next thing and doing and doing and doing and here they are just living just being Jews in Judea and walking in the ways of our ancestors it's just what a time to be alive it took us thousands of years to produce these kinds of Jews